Hey, hello everybody. Hope you're all doing great. We're uh, back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild with the uh, great one before level 60 series. This is uh, episode four. We're doing it live here on YouTube. For anybody watching it after the stream is done, this is going to be a live, uh, live airing of episode four. So if you hear me talking to chat, that is the uh, reason why. But how's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing super great today. Good to see everybody in here. Got another albino stag, a level eight. Nice, Marcus. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. That is super awesome. So we have made a few advancements in uh, the series. We've uh, not only leveled up a few more times and got a few more stags down, but we have some more uh, tents, which is pretty sweet. I managed to get a uh, couple tents down here now. And then I also got a couple ground blinds there. I'm using ground blinds for areas that I can because they are much cheaper. Um, I checked all these areas, didn't have anything crazy, so we're not going to hunt those. Uh, I don't have zones at either of these lakes either, which is really weird. But uh, I'm not too mad about it because it does kind of narrow things down, make it so we don't have to grind that area. So uh, we've got most of our grinding areas opened. We got the river, the four lakes right here, and then uh, this river. So yeah, I'd say we're pretty set to go on the grind. Nice, Lucy. That's awesome, dude. Nice, Boo. That's awesome. Congratulations. Got my first time in Red Deer on the grind today. 150 plus in. Nice, Hunter. Congratulations. Hey, Lone Wolf. A gold badge joins the chat. Indeed. A fantastic looking gold badge, I might add. Even if I do say so myself. Ah, uh, didn't get the first one good. There, put a couple more in him so he goes down faster. All right, tall boy. Uh, could one of the moderators put the rules in chat? Uh, somebody wanted to see the rules. Nice, Eagle. That's awesome, dude. Mellow Mountain Lions are beautiful. Pretty hard to find as well. Shot a total of 564 red deer for the grind today. Total 3k plus. Jeez, Martin. That's crazy, man. You're grinding at the speeds that I was when I first started uh, the grind for the first uh, great one. That's wild, man. Quite the uh, large amount of effort going into it. Did we, like, not get good shots on either of them? I'm starting to think that. Non-vital organ hit. What about the other one? That's so weird. We might have not even got a good shot on that second one. I don't see blood from him, so... I don't know. This is uh, kind of weird. Do I know what the biggest scoring Great One Red Deer is so far? I believe Zaggy has the biggest one at like 273. I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one that's been shot. Nice, Colt. That's awesome, dude. You gonna buy Yukon for the 300? Probably not. We'll just stick with the 303 for this grind, even though it's uh, not as efficient as the 300. But honestly, that would kind of that would kind of help with the grind because it would knock down the amount of XP we get. Hmm, you may be onto something. You may be onto something. Two seventy nine, Kyla. What? How did I miss that? I've got to go look at that. That sounds crazy. A two seventy nine great one. L let me go into the Discord and see if it's in the fabled ones chat. I gotta see this for myself. That's crazy. See if I can find it as I scroll up. Um, if I can't find it, could uh, one of you send it to me, maybe? Yeah, I don't see it so far. It's probably way up there. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't see it. So, uh, I, I guess if one of you guys could send that to me, that would be amazing. Because I, I can't find it. That's crazy, though. A 279 Great One Red Deer. Oh, man. I would love to get something like that. That'd be so cool. Can I get in there, please? There we go. Um, it's a bug, uh, Colt. That'll be fixed soon, hopefully. You just replied to it? Okay, I'll take a look at it then. Which, uh, Discord is it in? Oh, I see it. Jeez, that thing's huge. Oh my gosh. What a giant. That is just absolutely massive. Oh my gosh. That is so lucky. Ah, oh man, I want to get one like that now because that's like super wide. That's crazy. That might be the widest great one I've ever seen. Let's, uh, let's get one of those ourselves, yeah? Hope we can seal the deal on one at some point. Beautiful. Alright, let's get this guy too. Not a good shot on him. Nice, we did get a second shot though. That helps at least. Need to get a better gun soon? Uh, but the 303 is about as good as it gets if you're not using the 300 Magnum. There isn't really a better gun. Not for a uh, red deer grinding. Like I said, unless you're using the 300, but I have not purchased a uh, Yukon on this account, so. 303 is the best I have access to. I mean, we could use the 338 on them, but I don't know, that single shot, long reload, I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe for like a solo stags, it would be worth it. We could try that. Let's go get this one first. Actually, we should probably shoot these across first. What time do Red Deer drink? 18.30 to uh, 21.30. Oh gosh, it's so bright. Oh my gosh. That is our first diamond of the grind. That's our first diamond red deer of the grind. Oh my gosh, there we go. First diamond red deer on this account. Let's let's go get this thing down. How many kills in are we? 171. And we have found our very first diamond of the uh, 0 to 60 great one before 60 playthrough. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's a big one too. That's big rack. That's a giant red deer. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Uh, while we're going over here, we can also swing by and grab this uh, other red deer that we took out. They need to add a bolt action 7mm. Yes, that would be so good. I would use that gun so much if they added it. I'm not sure, Blueberry. I've heard a couple people say that that's been happening to them. I'm assuming it's probably just a bug. And I'm guessing that with this next update, it'll probably get fixed. And if not, then it's probably something to do with your PC. Uh, cause certain hardware reacts differently to certain games. And that could definitely be something to look into. But I'd wait for this next patch and just see if it fixes it. Oh, here's our red deer. There we go. Alright, let's get Ray and lined up on this guy. Man, he is just a beautiful stag. 260 to 306 is a pretty huge estimate.
And he's going down. What a beauty. What a beautiful stag. Let's uh, get one of these others down too. Sweet. We got two of them. Just got my first diamond off the grind too. Nice, Giovanni. That's awesome. It's going to be a diamond. Yeah, it's a guaranteed diamond. But, you know, you never know. We could accidentally mess it up. I, I, I don't think we did, but uh, it's always a possibility. This guy is going to be pretty big, though. It's guaranteed to be big rack because 260 minimum score. Uh, it's going to be diamond by quite a bit. The question is, is it going to be close to 270? I don't think it was wide enough to be a 270. It's probably going to be low to mid 260s. Uh, still pretty good, though. Nice, Panzer. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. I hope you end up enjoying uh, playing on PC. How do you get money as fast as possible? Uh, shoot everything. And if you want to grind a specific species to get a quicker cash, uh, geese are pretty great. You could also grind red deer like I am. I'm doing this grind pretty much with just some basic DLCs. So uh, if you just watch what we've been doing here, this is a great way to earn money. And you can do it with pretty limited stuff and at a very low level. Jeez, that thing's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna guess 264.7. That's my guess. 264.7. Let's see. 260. Oh my gosh, it's max weight. <laughs> it's max weight. Oh my gosh, no way. It's max weight. Our first diamond red deer on this account is max weight. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It's a 265 max weight red deer. Wow, what a way to get a first diamond on this account. That's crazy. <laughs> this is insane. What a start to the day. Yeah, the rack does look like a heart. That's kind of cool. Jeez, that's awesome. What a giant stag to get as our first diamond. Um, I got to remember how to screenshot on this. There we go. I think we did it. I think I screenshotted it. There we go. Ah, that's a beauty. What a way to start out, guys. I'm just... I'm just so blown away. Yeah, why you joined at the perfect time. We just got a giant diamond. Max weight and everything. Yeah, it did have a super even score as well. Jeez, what a monster. Hey, Josh, how's it going? The only thing you missed was that diamond stag we just got. Where's the blood from this other one? Did we pick it up already? No, we couldn't have. Half here are currently engaging in a dad joke war on New World. There's a group called the Dadlands, and I cannot resist a good fight. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Hollow. Eventually, I'd like to get into some new world, kind of like uh, once they polish some of the things that need uh, fixing. Heard a lot of people say that there is some uh, major, like, exploits and bugs and stuff like that that need polish. So I'll probably play it once they kind of polish some of that stuff. Let's uh, start working towards some of these other skills. What do we need? Uh, we need to get to Pack Mule at some point, but I won't worry about that yet. Uh, let's do Track Knowledge 2. That's going to be pretty helpful. Have you done the math on approximately how many kills to level 60? Not really. I mean, isn't max level like 147,000 XP? Or is it more than that? If it's 147,000 XP to get to max level, then it would be like... I don't know, it'd be a lot of stags, though. I 
I'm not sure though. I'll have to kind of calculate that. They give like what? 250 to 300 each? Oh, it's 293,000 XP. Okay, so... I mean, if we did like... A hundred times... Or a thousand times 250 XP, which is like the average for a red deer. That's like 250,000. So, we're gonna have to get this great one within like 1,500 kills. You know what? We might actually go for the 338. That way we can just kind of reduce some of the XP we get. Because if we uh, butcher all of the uh, stags that aren't diamonds and just like completely ruin their score, then we won't have to worry about the XP being much of an issue. We might have to get kind of strategic with how we do this. And in that case, I might buy the Yukon DLC just for the 300 Magnum like uh, one of you was saying. Wait, is that... Okay, it's not. <laughs> I, I was about to freak out. I thought that was another diamond. Uh, it's just a mythical, though. Just a mythical. Good mythical, though. Another thing we could do is try to brain shot some of them, too. 470 them all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one, uh, Epic Eagle. That's a good one. That's a funny one. A true dad joke at its finest. Oh, there's another. Man, those sevens always trick me at first. They always trick me into thinking there's something bigger. There's another decent stag up there. Ah, running out of everything. Running out of breath. Ah, no. <laughs> I ran out of breath every shot there. I was trying to get it fast enough, but didn't work. Uh, to be honest, I have no clue, Colt. I'll probably, I don't know. Since the new map's going to have Whitetail, I might try to do a grind on there. But I haven't really decided yet. Well, by good mythical, I just mean size-wise, Johnny. I don't mean the look. I just mean the uh, size of it. 232 is a pretty good size mythical. So that's 289 XP right there. We'll definitely need to do something to lower the amount we get. <laughs> yeah, duck. <laughs> Lawsuits. Oh my gosh, hollow. That might be one of the corniest uh, dad jokes I've ever heard, but it's it's beautiful at the same time. Uh, yes, oh, and it will be fixed this next update. Don't worry, you won't have to worry about the uh, FPS issues for too much longer. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's much harder to get follow-up shots when your skills aren't high. Or, uh, perks, I guess. Tinder matches, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Marcus. They do look deceiving at times. That's for sure. Hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Hope you've been doing well. I'm extremely jealous of your melanistic stag still. <laughs> I'm still really jealous of your mythical one. All I get's a little level 5 on the wrong account. But that mythical one that you got is just... Oh my gosh, that thing's beautiful. Makes me really want to try and get a mythical one at some point. Has anyone noticed the continued music when you get close to an area borders on Rancho? No, I haven't. I don't have the music turned on, so I'm really not even sure what the music sounds like on Rancho. We didn't hit this one good, that's for sure. It's ran a long ways.
Yeah, no problem, Daryl. Always happy to uh, hear that one of my guys or something helped you get something good. That's awesome, man. There's the stag. Imagine the melanistic on my main account turns out to be a nine. I would freak out just a lot. <laughs> just a lot. That'd be so cool. Oh, really, Lone Wolf? Is that the uh, one from uh, Ron McTube, I'm assuming? I know he had a great one video with wolves. Yeah, I'm super excited for the new map. Excited to have something new to grind. Hey, Jerome, how's it going? Uh, we don't really talk, uh, like, politics stuff here, Colt. No matter, uh, what my vi my views may be on each specific, uh, political thing, I don't really talk about politics here on the channel. Just because it is a controversial thing. No matter what side you're on in politics, there's always gonna be people that disagree with you, and, uh, we just try not to get too spicy in the chat here. Do you know where... Oh, I, I already answered that, Owen. I, I already told you. This next update. You don't gotta repeat. I, I already replied to you. <laughs> I already told you, my dude. It's getting fixed. When is the new map coming out? It's gonna be coming out December 7th. Why was the farmer having a hard time loading the trailer? Because the cows wouldn't move? <laughs> Holy. Hey, Joe, we managed to get a diamond red deer, and it was max weight as well. So yeah, we, we did get a pretty cool trophy. Super good. Ah, got you, Owen. Uh, no worries, then. But yeah, they are going to fix it. Um, they mentioned it in their Discord that that is one of the things that's going to be fixed with this upcoming update. Because it's been kind of a uh, major issue. So it will be getting a fix. Jeez, there's a bunch of good stags here this time around. Oh, there's another right there. Come on. Give me a broadside shot. Hello? Are, are, really? Okay. <laughs> of course he would just start drinking right there. Uh, no, Colt. They changed the tracks. Uh, you're not actually supposed to be able to pick them up how you used to. Now you have to look at the ground. And this was to uh, make it easier to choose which track you wanted to pick up. Because before, uh, you'd try to pick up one track and it would pick up another track next to it. So they changed it to what it is now. To hopefully make it easier to select which track you're trying to pick up. So it's actually intended for it to be like that. You know, one thing though, I, I really think they should start mentioning this type of stuff in patch notes because there's so many people that think that stuff like that is a bug when it's actually something that's intended. I think to kind of clear up confusion, they should really start listing this type of stuff in the patch notes because, I mean, like, that's a pretty significant change. And they really should mention when they do stuff like that. But, as you guys saw last update... There was nothing in the patch notes that said anything about the tracks being changed to where they were uh, have to be looked at in order to be picked up. They never mentioned it in the patch notes. Yeah, I don't like it either, Frantic, but... At the same time, it is kind of nice that it's easier to select which track you want to pick up. Because there were so many times where I was like trying to pick up a track and I couldn't because there was another track over top of it. That was pretty annoying, so I do like that it's easier to select the track you want. But it is kind of, uh, kind of annoying to have to look at the ground every time. But it is what it is. We'll get used to it. Hey, 
Hey Vanessa, how's it going? We are currently level 18 and we got a diamond stag at the beginning of this stream. Oh yeah, I can agree with that, uh, Derek. It is kind of rough using a controller with the new tracking. Uh, my wife plays on Xbox and uh, occasionally I'll jump on there and uh, help her grind some geese or something and I can agree. The tracking is rough when you're using a controller. And to be honest, most of the time I don't even like grab every track when I'm uh, playing on her Xbox. I typically just like grab the first one and then just follow them instead of picking them up every time. It's, uh, it's, it's not fun using a controller to pick up the tracks now, that's for sure. Okay, that's just a tiny stag. I won't worry about him. Not gonna worry about that little dude. There's one of our red deer. Uh, we're at 22,000 now. I want to work up to enough to uh, get the 300 Magnum because I think I will just buy D uh, the DLC for Yukon and get the 300 Magnum for this series because it will make things so much easier. Or not necessarily easier. Well, yeah, it will make things easier and it will also keep down the amount of XP so we can grind more red deer before hitting max level. It'll definitely uh, benefit us in the long run. So I think we'll definitely do that. Uh, is that all? I think it is. Let's uh, head up here now. No, it'll still be a 24, Vanessa. And uh, it, it, who knows? I might not even make it the full 24. I'm going to try, but I have been like uh, on a pretty rough sleep schedule recently, so... Who knows what'll happen, but we're going to do our best to make it as long as we can. <laughs> yeah, Frantic. <laughs> I mean, you guys are seeing how I'm doing it. Anybody can grind like this. And a lot of, uh, a lot of the fact that I have a lot of money on my main account is because I do these crazy grinds where we kill thousands of whitetail, thousands of red deer. And once you've purchased all of your tents and tripods and uh, don't really tax anything except for diamonds and rares, then you build up the cash pretty quickly. Especially if you play the game a lot. Yeah, any hunting, it, it should be fine. Your zones will appear somewhere else. Sometimes they'll even come back to the same spot. Do you think they will change the way if you pick up a track it shows the fur type? Um, I don't know. I, d I don't think that's intended, but I don't think it's like a big issue, so they're probably not going to focus it. I'm sure just like uh, the whole Zag Tactics method, I'm sure it'll get changed eventually, but it'll probably be quite a long ways down the road because they have more pressing issues to deal with first. So I, I doubt it'll get changed anytime soon, but it probably will some point in the future. The very far future, most likely. Man, this thing keeps turning right as I'm trying to shoot it. Uh, the 24-hour stream will be uh, actually in two days, the 30th, at 12.12 uh, 12 p.m. PST. So, 12 minutes past noon. I know it's an odd time, but you know, we gotta do it for the memes. Yeah, that, that one's not gonna die anytime soon. We'll just uh, go get the other one. More advice to get, or advice to get more shotgun score? Um... Do you have the Goose DLC? If you have the Goose DLC, that's the way to go. If not, you could honestly just take the buckshot and blast like European rabbits. Uh, even though it's not really like a uh, a usable ammo type on them, you won't get full score. It'll still give you shotgun score, so I just take the buckshot and shoot as many European rabbits as you can, or whatever else you can get uh, close enough to take a shot on. There's really no surefire way of grinding shotgun score. One, two, three. Okay, we got three deer here. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> we accidentally hit that one. Oh, man. Well, that's fun. Well, that's a good mythical right there. <laughs> Aaliyah's mad. She hates those diaper changes. There is so many red deer running through here. I can't shoot that one, though, because it'll delete the zone. Baby equals mad. Yup, pretty much. She mad. Uh, we're level 18 currently. Made about 400,000 just grinding fallow deer. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're not too bad. with the wife uh, maybe one of these days that'd be kind of difficult because I don't know how to record on Xbox like with commentary and stuff so I, I don't know if that's gonna be possible until we can get her another PC and I plan to get the uh, the Steam Deck whenever that comes out but that's gonna be like half a year from now so it might be a little while before I can do that that would be fun though There we go. So there should be minimum two dead, possibly three. Yeah, you can record on Xbox. It's just, I, I don't know how to do it like good quality. If I'm going to do something like that, I want it to be up to the quality standards that I have for my other videos. What's the Steam Deck? So the Steam Deck is basically going to be a handheld PC. It's going to be about the size of a Nintendo Switch, probably a little bit larger. And it's literally going to have the power of a full PC with uh, the Steam operating system and all of their library of games. So you can log into your Steam account and purchase uh, games and stuff like that. You can download and play all of your Steam games. It's supposed to be able to run Cyberpunk on like 60 FPS. So I'm definitely really interested in it and I cannot wait to try and get one. I think it's going to be pretty huge. It's, get, it's literally going to take like portable gaming consoles to the next level. To have the power of a PC in like a handheld, basically Nintendo Switch sized uh, PC is going to be pretty crazy. Definitely really excited to see uh, how good it ends up being. And you're going to be able to like plug it into your TV and plug in a keyboard and mouse. And stuff like that. It's going to be crazy. Um, how much is it? I think it starts at like 500. And then to get the best one, it's like seven or 800. It's honestly a really good deal for what it can do. It, provided it works as good as it's supposed to. It's not going to be released for like, like I said, like six or seven months. So who knows what it'll be like when it's actually released. But it seems so promising. Like, I am extremely excited for it. It's basically going to be the power of a gaming laptop in a handheld device, which is just crazy to think of. Never thought that that would be possible. At least for that price range. I know, right, Duck? If you guys haven't looked it up, go to the Steam Deck's website. In fact, I can just bring that up real quick, but it's, it's so cool. I am definitely going to get one. Let's see if I can find their uh, website. There we go. I found the Steam page for it. Let's uh, link that. So this is the Steam Deck right here, guys. There it is. Dropped it in chat for you guys. 
Okay, so it's going to be 399 for the cheapest one, 529 for the mid-size one, and then 649 for the uh, best one. Honestly, that's such a good price. That is such a good price for what it is. Man, I'm so excited for it. I cannot wait till it releases. Uh, probably not Epic Eagle, unless it's saved to the Steam Cloud. That's the only way you could really transfer over uh, progress from games is if it's on the Steam Cloud. So if the game supports it, then yeah. And, and you can do that on Call of the Wild as far as I know. But another thing that you can do to kind of make sure that you can bring your save over is you can move your save to like a, a SD card and then put that into the Steam Deck. Because the Steam Deck will have... Um, it will have a micro SD card compatibility and it will be able to recognize your games that are on those SD cards immediately upon putting them into the uh, Steam Deck, which is cool. It's honestly going to be probably the best deal for a portable uh, PC. Because, I mean, that's what it is. It's a portable PC. Hey, Long Islander, how's it going? Oh, but it's not like the PS5 where it's still hard to get. Well, the good thing about it, Snarly, is you actually can reserve one. So, I have already reserved it. It's like five bucks to reserve it. And I believe you have to reserve it in order to get one. And that'll kind of help with the issue of, like, uh, scalpers. And if you guys don't know what scalpers are, scalpers are basically people that use bots to buy like the consoles like PlayStation 5s and then they mark them up by like five times the price and sell them on like eBay and stuff and that's one of the reasons there was such a shortage of PlayStation 5s and Xbox uh, Series X and stuff like that it was because of the scalpers same with a uh, GeForce uh, the 3000 series graphics cards So this will hopefully prevent that from happening. Have slugs for the 20 gauge. Should I go hunting for like gray wolves or grizzlies? You know, that would actually be pretty good now that I think of it. Gray wolves with the slugs would actually be pretty good at uh, giving you weapon score for it for sure. There we go. Two stags right there. Just uh, take care of that. There we go. And he turned as we shot. <laughs> yep, sounds about right, man. They were jacking up the price like crazy. So I'm glad that uh, Steam is going on the route of making you have to reserve one. I think that's definitely a good thing. Yeah, for sure, Maddox. That's uh, honestly the best way to do it. But for people that don't have the Goose DLC, Wolves are definitely a decent way to uh, get shotgun score. But oh yeah, if you have access to the Geese, definitely the best way. Yeah, Jor, it's a, it's definitely not cheap, but it's cheap for a PC of, like, that power. And it's going to have such versatility that I'm really excited for it. It's going to make it so, like, whenever I'm on vacation or, like, visiting family, I can still uh, do recording and stuff like that. I can just record from the Steam Deck. And uh, that will be pretty sweet. Provided I'm, I'm actually able to use recording software. I think I should be able to because it is just a regular PC. Um, they said that you can uninstall the Steam OS if you want. And then install Windows 10 onto it or whatever Windows operating system you want. And then use it just like a normal PC. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. 
If I remember right, I don't have much throughout this part of the river. I don't think I have a herd out here. Yeah, I don't. So it's literally just this herd and then these two. Uh, honestly, I like that. Makes it so I don't have to worry too much about that side and just focus on the right side of the map. Yeah, Hunter Fisher definitely does seem sweet. But uh, yeah, a bow is probably a better option if you're wanting to get a bow. We got four stags out here. Alright, you big males. It's time to get smoked. Ah, no. Back here. Curse you slow, uh, breath recovery times. How did that miss? Actually, a little shocked that that missed. And that was a bad shot. Was trying to get the neck. Didn't quite get the next shot. I mean, on the bright side, that's going to lower the XP it'll give at least. Uh, that one's dead. There's a bright side to everything. <laughs> at least we'll get less XP for that one. Grinding for the great one on my Steam Deck. I know, right, dude? That's going to be... <laughs> That'll be interesting. Imagine being the first person to get a great one off of the Steam Deck. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. That will be absolutely amazing. We're down to nine bullets. That's not good. 199, not bad. Oh, there's actually all three of these that we shot here. You know, to be honest, I didn't think that we got these ones good. That's the one we shot three times. Oh wow, they only give 98 XP if you ruin them. Oh my gosh, we gotta do that. We gotta do that to all of them. Wow, we hit that? <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, we definitely need to uh, work our way up to a bigger gun then. If that's like how little XP you get for them once you uh, butcher them. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. What a historic moment for Call of the Wild that would be. I know, right? Uh, the graphics are going to be pretty good, Rizzy. They're going to be pretty good. It's supposed to be able to run AAA titles at uh, 60 FPS on, I think, like medium to high settings. It's going to be pretty good. I mean, in the uh, on the webpage, they show Cyberpunk running on there at pretty much full graphics. And I'm thinking, you know, if it can run Cyberpunk, it can run anything. Because that game is so intensive. Well, he's dead. Did we get that one too? We did. Oh my gosh. Surprised we hit that. That one's going down too. All right, gonna need more ammo. That's a uh, quite a uh, quite the difference in price, although that's for sure. I'm excited to see what that Steam Deck has to offer. There, we'll get a hundred rounds. Spoke too soon, two shots left. Yeah, we're uh, getting low, but now we're not. Now we got our ammo back. Come on, let's get down here in time. Uh, currently, I'm using the 303 British. Fortnite Victory Royale on uh, Steam Deck. Holy. Oh my gosh, Escape from Tarkov on Steam Deck. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tarkov would be so rough to play on a Steam Deck. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Could you guys imagine that? That would be wild. <laughs> hey Adam, how's it going? No worries, man. That's no problem. I'm just happy to see you here in the chat. Anything else interesting since the Mela? Yeah, we got a diamond uh, towards the beginning of the stream. Ended up being max weight as well. Had some pretty interesting stuff happen. Steam Deck Melon is a great one. Oh, yeah. You just want your top spot back? I don't even know, like, how much is between the top spot. I think it's, like... I think it's only, like, a $20 difference, so it's not too much. What DLC is the 303 in? It comes with Tiawaroa. So if you buy the Tiawaroa map, you get access to the 303. Yeah, no great one yet. Sadly. But we have got a pretty good diamond, so I'm happy with that at least. Yeah, Johnny, that'll be cool. That would be pretty sweet. It's definitely going to be cool. Excited to see how good it actually is. Yeah, the 303 is great. It's more powerful than the 30-06 round. By just a little bit. It's got slightly more expansion. And uh, that alone makes it better for Red Deer because they die quicker. Is this him? Yeah, that's the one we've been tracking. Should be more around here. Level up. Uh, that's a perk. So. Quicker ready speed or steady hands. Hmm. Or we could start working towards lightning hands. Or we could start working towards recoil management. Ah. For now, let's get the decreased wobble. Actually. Muscle memory so we can fire quicker. I mean, it's really up to you, Hunter. It doesn't really... It doesn't sacrifice too much power compared to the 7mm, and it gives you five shots instead of one before reloading. I'd say that it's definitely worth it. The 303 is a great rifle. Definitely my favorite for uh, grinding stuff like the Red Deer. I definitely like it better than the 7mm. I guess the best way to put it is if the 7mm had a bolt action with four or five shots, I would take that over the 303. But since the current 7mm is a single shot, I'd say 303 is probably better. But just because it has the extra shots. Yeah, the recoil management perk is going to be pretty uh, great. We're going to have to try and get up to that pretty quickly. Because it helps so much with uh, recovering from your first shot. Definitely something we'll have to work towards. Where did this one run to? I guess it was up here. This is the first one we shot at like 10 minutes ago. Didn't even realize we were stepping on a stump there. Nice, Johnny. There it is. One more down over here, I think. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it is true. You do get the 303 for free if you do the Tiawaro missions. That is uh, definitely a good thing to note. Hey, Dino, how's it going? You missed a max weight diamond, uh, Red Deer. Scored 265.
Yeah, same, Johnny. I really want a 308 for sure. I don't know why it's not in the game already. It's a very popular request by pretty much everybody. So it still blows my mind we don't have one yet. There we go. Uh, what's that HP doing? He, he's at 0 to 25 still? What? I'm confused. What happened there? Was he already shot like from our last run? And I just didn't realize it? I mean, if they ever did a uh, AR-10 in 308, I doubt it would have 10 rounds because in most places, uh, the legal max amount of rounds you can have in an AR while hunting is five, so... In most places, you have to use a five round magazine. So that's probably what they would do. Yeah, modern muzzleloader would be pretty sweet. I like the current one, but I would like to see like a nice inline muzzle loader. Oh, you can have a 10 round mag in Mississippi. That's cool. That's really cool. Here in Oregon, you're limited to five rounds or less when hunting for deer. And I think for waterfowl, it's like three rounds. Uh, they got pretty rough limitations here. Of course, Oregon kind of has like some pretty uh, limited gun laws anyway, so it would uh, make sense that the hunting restrictions would be a little bit tighter. We're also not really allowed to take that many uh, deer. It's like a one deer limit per year. Do you hunt in real life? Yes, I do. I have in the last few years from uh, just not really having the time to do it, but I hunted growing up. Three hundred eight should be a class three to a rifle, so I can slaughter roe deer with it. <laughs> that would be amazing. I wonder what class they would make it. Uh, probably three to seven. That would be my guess. Seven deer in total, three bucks, four does. Oh gosh, man, I wish it was like that here. Here it's just uh, one black tail deer. And I think obviously you could probably kill a mule deer as well. Because I know there's mule deer in uh, the eastern parts of Oregon. And I'm pretty sure that would be separate than a blacktail tag, right? Or actually, how does it even work? Would you be able to kill a deer in each, like, a uh, zone? Because the way they do it in Oregon is they're, the, the state is separated into a bunch of different zones. Like, a uh, northwest zone, northeast zone, um, like, southeast, southwest zone, and then, like, a few other zones in the middle. And I'm wondering, can you get a tag for each of those zones? I really don't know. I'd have to look it up. All I know is it's pretty uh, limited on the amount of deer you can take. And then for mountain lion, it's like a full year-round season. You can take a mountain lion, and then if you get one mountain lion, you can... Uh, you can go in and get another tag for them as well. So I believe you're allowed two mountain lions. Uh, but you can only have one tag at a time. You have to get one before you can get your second tag. That's strange, uh, Mr. Pleb. I don't think I've heard of that before. I would ask uh, the hunter support. Because I, I really have no clue what that would be. Six tier in total. Jeez. Where'd this red deer go, man? This thing's going way up. Mm. 
Where did this red deer go? He's zigzagging. Hey, Bailey, how's it going? Good to see you. Where is this thing? Is it even dead? I'm starting to think maybe it's uh, still alive. This is a huge waste of time trying to chase it down, but I am invested in it now. We've gone this far. We gotta find it. And the tracks end. Of course they do. What else would it be? I did not mean to shoot. Well, that is gonna be the end of that. Alright, we're, we're done chasing this guy. It's just gonna be a, a waste of time. Alright, so guys, I'm real quickly gonna go open up the window. It's getting kind of warm in here with the PC just heating everything up, so be back in two seconds. There, that uh, should uh, cool things down a little bit. Nice, Lucas, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Let's uh, see if we can get Red Deer over here. Well, there's a mythical, big mythical too. Yeah, Hunter. Would be uh, rough if they had those restrictions, for sure. I know it's kind of annoying here in Oregon, those restrictions. What time do Black Bear drink? Um, it depends on what map you're on. Nice, Wyatt. I can't really see it, but yeah. From what I can see, not too bad. How did you not get hit vitally? Explain. Come on, Call the Wild, explain to me that. Holy. How did we not get vitals? What's my biggest muley? Uh, 341, I think? So far, just one diamond red deer on this account, uh, Griffin. We are approaching 200 kills, and we've got one diamond and two rares so far. Uh, let me check, Wraith. We are 198. One diamond, 61 gold, 109 silver, 24 bronze, and then we got the two rares. Been uh, going pretty good, I'd say. What do I think is the best map for the red deer grind? Oh. Easily Tiawaroa. Easily Tiawaroa. Like, uh, Quattro Kalinas is probably the second best, but it doesn't even compare to Tiawaroa. This map is just insane for Red Deer. If you don't mind hunting at night, it's crazy good. Yeah, pretty much, Aiden. Can't let it get away, and, uh, we're actually trying to reduce the amount of XP we get as well. Because the more XP I'm getting per red deer, the, the quicker this grind will go. 
And if we want to have a chance at getting the great one before level 60, we got to reduce the amount of XP we get per kill. So I'm actually fine with uh, shooting this guy a bunch. Uh, that's why I'm going to try and get the 300 Magnum or the 338. That way I can just use that and that'll chop the score down quite a bit. Or uh, the XP down quite a bit. Hey Blitz, how's it going? 239, holy. Big mail. Yeah, we're at 36,000. Um, let me real quickly see. Let me see if I can real quickly uh, purchase the Yukon DLC so we can get the 300 Magnum. I'm going to real quickly do that while I'm thinking of it. That way we'll have access to the 300 Magnum and can hopefully uh, do a little bit better with uh, keeping the XP down on them. Where is it? There's Yukon. Oh my gosh, Yukon is only a dollar fifty right now on Epic Games. And it looks like they lowered the price of the actual map itself. It's only four dollars for uh, Yukon on Epic Games at full price. Uh, currently it's on sale though. For a dollar fifty, that's crazy. I didn't realize they had lowered the price on some of their older DLCs. They're much cheaper than they were on release. Give me two seconds, guys, just uh, doing this real quickly. It's still 7 on PS4 and Xbox. I'm sure it'll get lowered eventually. I'm sure they'll lower it. Since it's lowered on Epic, on Epic Games, I'm sure it will get lowered on other platforms as well. It's probably just a matter of time. They're probably kind of waiting to roll it out on other platforms. In a way, I think Epic Games is going to be kind of like an experimentation uh, thing in a way. There we go. So now we can get the 300 Magnum. We just have to earn of enough money for it, so 75k. Ugh, got a long way to go, but it'll be worth it once we get there. It's now 2026. Let's go to uh, these two spots. First stream I can actually make, thank god. Hey, Mr. Taco, how's it going? Hope you've been doing good, man. First ever Whitetail on Classic was 182. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That's a good, good one. Anything above 170 is a pretty good size buck in Classic. And if you get one over 180, that's considered to be like a great buck. And then like 190 plus is one of the once in a lifetime type of deer. You don't see 190 plus too often. Haven't had a diamond in about 250 kills. Uh, to be honest, that's kind of how it always went for me, Blitz. I'd go like three or 400 kills with nothing and then get like four or five of them within the next couple hundred kills. So I kind of went in streaks. Well, maybe not four or five uh, diamonds, but four or five level nines within like a couple hundred kills. It, it just came and went in streaks for me. There we go. Smoking red deer like it's nothing. Did that one hit good? Yes, it did. Sweet. I wasn't sure if it did. I thought maybe we were back a little bit too far. Or not back a little bit too far, but too low on the aim. It looks like we were okay. All right, that should be all of them. Can I fast travel, please? There we go. What should I get first, 300 mag or 7 mm? Definitely the 300 mag. It's better than the 7 mm. It's got more versatility. It will be your go-to rifle for a large game that's class seven and up. 
Anything from bears to Cape Buffalo, 300 is going to be the gun to go for. Uh, we shot another over here, but did it get hit vitally? Doesn't look like it, no. Um, this is vital blood, though. There it is. That's uh, the 7, I want to say. I think that's the 7. Yeah, 203. Not bad. Nice, William. Nice, Eagle. That's awesome, dude. And yet... Did I just say do instead of dude? I did, didn't I? <laughs> but uh, that's awesome, Eagle. And I agree. Call of the Wilds DLC is much cheaper than a lot of uh, games DLC. And a lot of their DLC you can use in multiplayer without actually having to own it, which is another pretty awesome thing. Yeah, the 338's not great, especially when you have the 300. I can agree with that. Three, uh, the 338's kind of underwhelming. So is the 470. Like, it should be more powerful also. Yeah, I heard somebody found a moose on Tiawaroa. And it was on console too, wasn't it? Crazy. It must be like a rare spawn. Or maybe it was a bug. Maybe because there can be the mission moose, maybe it was a, a bug that one just randomly showed up. Hard to say, really. I don't think this was a vital hit. I think we probably spined it. No, it's still 50 to 75, so we probably didn't even get spine. Guess that'll be all of them. Yeah, I do use a 1080. It is a 1080. What do we got here? Mm, nothing yet. It's 2046. There should be some here. They're probably just hidden. Uh, in that case, we'll go to the river. Yeah, I'll check it out, Turkey. I'll check it out after the stream. Yeah, it should, Caden. I agree. 470 is pretty underpowered. Do I have a Mela Euro Bison yet? Um, no. I've got a piebald one, and I've got an albino, but I don't have a Mela. I believe that's the only one I'm missing for them. Alright, let's see if we can maybe get this guy. Uh, we're going to have to shoot the hind because she's in front of him. I'll tell you what, we just won't claim her. Because we won't get the XP if we don't claim her. Ooh, that shot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fantastic, Blitz. Nailing it. Yeah, we just won't claim that, uh, hind. Oh my gosh, the turkeys. Oh, and, uh, after numerous, numerous comments saying, Kill the albino turkey! Uh, we will kill the albino turkey in, uh, episode 5 of the series. Uh, cause this is episode 4 right here. Episode 5, we'll go kill the, uh, albino turkey. Okay, I think we got that. I think that was the only one, too. I could spine them, but then they run farther, and that makes it so it takes longer to claim them. We're just going to work our way up to the 300 and use that on them.
There he is. He didn't run far at all. Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and reset the time. It's getting too close to uh, being the end of Red Deer time. Oh, that's not as far back as we need to go. There we go. That's better. Nice, Bailey. Nice, tall boy. Uh, let's start here. Yeah, me too, Caden. I always did that with the Euro Bison as well. It's a lot of fun. Especially when you're using the 470. Like, that's actually a lot of fun. As bad as the 470 is, it's kind of fun to chase bison around with it. That I can agree with. Looks like just two this time around. Ooh, nice. We actually got a lung shot on that one. Let's uh, try to take the score down a bit. There we go. That third shot will knock down some of that XP. I haven't, Eagle. That sounds good, though. I, uh, to be honest, there's not really much whitetail here in Oregon, so I've never ate whitetail. I've had blacktail, and then I've also had uh, Roosevelt elk. Both are delicious, by the way. I think elk's probably the best of the two, though. I love elk. So good. Wait, that's one that we shot on the last run. <laughs> Oh, we keep running into that. What's my record viewers on a stream? It was 424. And it was with the first stream I did after the Great One Red Deer. That was the most we've ever had. And it was wild. It was quite a crazy day. Oh, you had Axis Deer and it was your favorite to eat? Jeez, I've never had Axis Deer. I've only had the, uh, the Blacktail and the Elk. Ate plenty of, like, uh, fish over the years, though. I was always more into fishing than hunting. Just because it was, uh, more accessible for me growing up. Oh, there's a dead Red Deer there. <laughs> How did we miss that one? Do you like pickles? Yes, they're very good. Nothing better than uh, some bread and butter pickles. Those things are mm, amazing. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate that. Jeez, Blitz. I might have to try some of that sometime. One of these days, I would like to uh, go down to Texas for a hunt. I don't know like when I'll be able to do that, but... Man, it would be fun. Over there, huh? Interesting. No, Hollow. They're good, but bread and butter pickles are better because they're sweet. I like sweet pickles better. Dill pickles are still good, though. Don't worry, I still like dill pickles, too. Just not as much. Where is it? Where are you, little red deer? Where is this thing? There it is. That thing's closer than I thought it would be. Ah, get back here. Ah, there it goes. It's down anyway. Ah, uh, no, I've never had squirrel or a groundhog. Pickles are amazing, tall boy. What do you mean? Yeah, I've never had bear before. I have heard that it's good, though. Big 
Bighorn's very sweet tasting. I mean, yeah, I, I would kind of expect that. They are a sheep, and I have had lamb before. Lamb chops are good. So I would imagine that uh, Bighorn sheep would probably be pretty tasty as well. No, uh, no hollow, no, no ban permission. A timeout permission, though. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. I mean, yeah, I guess I could see that. <laughs> Got another up here. Ooh, that's a good seven. Hello there, sir. You need to be on the ground. We are now at just under 50k, getting up there in cash. If you guys remember right, we were at like maybe 10k when starting the stream. This just kind of shows you how good grinding red deer is for money. We're almost at 50k already and we spent 10k on ammo. Red deer are fantastic for gaining money. I mean, we're only level 19 and look how quickly we can build the cash up. Cannot recommend them enough. Such a good way to make money if you don't have access to the goose DLC. I later chance, thank you for watching, man. Oh, no worries, Sen. Hope you've been doing good, man. 201, not bad. This is one of my favorite racks. I really like the way this one looks with these little tines that stick out the side like that. Those look good. Always been one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, Hollow, you have uh, you have too much fun with the power sometimes. <laughs> it is uh, quite hilarious to watch. Gonna get the 300 today, probably. That's the goal. We want to get up to the 300 today. There's two red stags right there. They're kind of looking away, so we'll shoot them last. Probably, we'll go for this guy next. And I let it too much. Uh, posted in the video chat, uh, send. There's a uh, videos uh, channel that you can put it put it into. Oh, I know, Hollow. I know you didn't. That's what I was saying. The little uh, the little apology there. <laughs> All right, let's uh, jump over here. That does sound pretty good, Epic Eagle. Believe it or not, guys, I've never had Chick-fil-A. Never had it. Haven't had it once. You gotta time me out, too. <laughs> You'll have to find a stream that I'm not mod, but you are. Decent little level six over there. There's another one there. Interesting. Man, didn't quite get that the way that I wanted to. You know, I have heard good things about frog legs. Never tried them myself, but I've heard that a lot of people really like them, especially in the south. Might have to give them a try one of these days.
I mean, as with anything, everybody always says that it tastes like chicken, so... I'm going to assume it'll taste like chicken. <laughs> okay, that's another one there. Another there. Another there. My gosh, there's so many stags over there. Uh, we got a lot to take out. This is going to be a good chunk of money. Okay, that had to have been lung and spine. No way it would have dropped like that. Unless it was heart, maybe. Oh my gosh, what is going on? We're just nailing these shots now. What happened to my aim? It's actually good. What happened? It's actually being good for once. And we deleted that zone. Oh well. It'll come back. They always do at this location. It could have just been spine, I guess. If it was vertebrae and spinal cord, I guess it would have dropped it. I think it would have to be both of those, though. Sweet. Where's the duck aim? I don't know, it left. I haven't shot a duck in a long time, so the duck aim's just kind of gone. We broke the duck aim curse. We broke the duck aim curse. We broke the melanistic red deer curse. We're just breaking curses everywhere. We've broke our great one curse. Just waiting for it to say 10 fabled. Me too. Oh my gosh, that'll be crazy if we can actually accomplish getting a uh, great one on this account. This has been a pretty fun thing to do. I gotta admit, I'm really liking it. Gotcha, Hunter Fisher. Bullfrog legs are good. That's what I've been hearing. Oh, they are Maddox? That's crazy, man. Yeah, I've never had lobster either. I've had like a, a few different types of crab, but I've never had lobster. I do love me some crab though. Crab is delicious. Especially the uh, Dungeness crabs. Those things are so good. My gosh. What level am I right now? Level 19. Um, out of all the different types of fish that I've had, I'd say, uh, copper rockfish is my favorite. Like, I've had, I've had fresh, uh, Chinook salmon, I've had fresh, uh, silver salmon, uh, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout. Like, all of those, I've had, like, greenling, a couple different types of, uh, rockfish. I gotta say, copper rockfish is probably my favorite type of fish. It's so good. I don't know uh, how many people have actually had copper rockfish because it is obviously it's pretty exclusive to just like coastal states but uh, in Oregon rock fishing is a lot of fun and uh, copper rockfish are probably my favorite of them if you guys have never been uh, rock fishing from the uh, shoreline oh my gosh it's fun you go out onto like the, uh, the like rock fingers that they have in the bays and you kind of just walk out on one of those and you just drop your line into the the cracks in the rocks where all of the like deep uh deep water is basically like it's uh rocks that'll be in the water you walk out on them uh there's obviously water in between them and you just find the really deep holes in between the rocks and that's where a lot of the uh, good fish are there was one time I hooked this like giant probably like five pound eel out of one of those holes. It was pretty crazy. At first I thought I had hooked something like a uh, a ling cod, but it was just a uh, it was just an eel. 
Yes, it's so good, uh, Blitz. It's so good. Or that's what I mean. Not the not the bay, the jetties. It was a jetty, not a bay. The jetty. That is that is correct, uh, Blitz. Thank you for uh, mentioning that, or else I would have forgot that that's actually what they're called. But it is so good. It is so so good. I can't remember where I used to go. I think. I can't remember if it was a uh, Newport, Oregon or Wildport, Oregon, but we used to go over there uh, a couple times a year and fish for rockfish. It's a pretty cool area. A nice little coastal town. Uh, if anybody has been there, you probably already know that it's beautiful, but pretty much all of the coastal Oregon is just beautiful to look at. Welcome back, Kyla. I don't know if I said that or not, but welcome back. Is there really more over here that we shot? I think there was, right? Two at least? Wait, when did Caitlyn get here? What do you mean I'm ignoring you? Did I, uh, did I miss Caitlyn in the chat? Oh, there's Caitlyn. How's it going? And leveled up to 20. What do we want here? Number three, track knowledge? Or... Work towards Pack Mule. I think Track Knowledge 3. Yeah, this is going to be more beneficial to us. Which means we should be able to see Fur Type now from Tracks. That's going to be good. Oh, you're camping on the Dill Pickle Hill. Gotcha. Don't worry. Bread and Butter Pickles are better. But they're still good. Don't get me wrong. Dills are still good. It just depends on what you're eating them on, right? <laughs> if you guys have not tried this before, get uh, some Ritz crackers and put a bread and butter pickle on there with some honey mustard. You will thank me. And it really doesn't... It doesn't even have to be Ritz crackers. It can be... Uh, like any type of like vegetable cracker or something like that. It tastes so good. Oh my gosh. It's literally like the best little snack ever. The first time uh, my wife made them, I was like, what is this? W what do you mean this is good? And then I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's way better than you would expect it to be. This is one we shot last run. It's at 25 to 50. Come on, stop running. That thing's not gonna stop. <laughs> the pain of your existence. Okay. Well, try it with a dill then. Try it with a dill pickle. Whatever pickle you use, trust me, it'll be delicious. It's way better than it sounds. You just eat them straight out of the jar. Me too sometimes. Like with the bread and butter pickles and with dill pickles, I'll just eat them straight out of the jar. I I never eat like a ton of them though, because especially if it's like an on an empty stomach. Dill pickle on an empty stomach is uh, not the smartest idea sometimes, so I try not to do that, but it's so good. There's a five. Uh, do we have anything else? Just the five for now, it looks like. So let's just blast him from here. You know, if tree stands were more uh, reliable and didn't get took down by the beavers so much, then I would 100% be using a tree stand here. But the beavers just get those tree stands way too often. Don't want to use them because they always get took down. Ah, oh, it's so nice. We can finally check fur types. Oh, I'm so happy. That's so nice. Does that really work, Yi? Does that really work? Oh gosh, Hollow, that's... Ugh. 
Why? You know, I've I've heard of that being a thing, but why is that a thing? Who would do that? That's just wrong. That's just wrong on many levels. Ugh. You know what is good though? And uh, I'm sure there's probably quite a few of you that have never heard of this. I didn't know what it was until uh, my mom made one for me like probably 10 years ago. But uh, if you've never tried it, peanut butter banana brown sugar sandwich. You uh, slice up a banana enough to like cover the bread and uh, obviously your peanut butter and then you put like probably a couple tablespoons of uh, brown sugar on it. It's not super healthy because it's brown sugar but oh my gosh it's good. So so good. I think that was spine. I accidentally clicked earlier than I wanted to. My finger was kind of just resting on it and it clicked. Did not want to do that, but you know what? Let's just get this XP took down a bit. Yeah, that's right. Take another one. Have more. <laughs> yeah, hollow. Is that so? Is that so? Apparently the crow has no taste. The question is, can real crows taste anything? How do birds taste? That's my question. Like, do they taste things the same way we would? Does everything taste the same to them as it does to us? Like, these are the questions I think about when I'm laying in bed unable to sleep. Not really, but... Oh, you're right, Hollow. You're right. We should be on a prehistoric hunt. That's true. I mean, uh, the antlers on this red deer look prehistoric, so... We're halfway there. Oh my gosh, yes, Rizzy. That is good, too. And uh, just regular sugar on strawberries is good, too. Oh, and if you guys have not had a tomato with uh, sugar sprinkled on it, that's also really good. That's another one where I did not think that would be good, and then I tried it and it was good, and it blew my mind. You basically just uh, slice a tomato and then sprinkle sugar on each of the slices. It's actually pretty good. Megaloceros red deer, yep, that's what I was going for. I'm glad somebody got that. Yeah, I haven't played uh, Prehistoric Hunt really since the last uh, video I did on it, Blitz. Too much, uh, too much Call of the Wild stuff going on with the upcoming Creator Early Access stuff. Been pretty busy. Not gonna be on a Prehistoric Hunt for a little while. I should have known, Hunter Sniper. Why didn't I think of that? Watermelon with a bit of salt. I've never tried that. I'm not sure how that would be. Whoa. Three stags here this time. That's new. Normally don't get three stags from this herd. I'm pretty happy with that though. I mean... We'll need to get a stand set up over here. Or not a stand, but a ground blind. Because I don't have... Uh, I don't have the funds to be spending it on stands. Ground blinds are cheaper. Excuse me? How are you not hit? There we go. Finally. <laughs> I think I've had crawdad before. I can't remember. I think I have. Stag I just killed was 260, 640. That's a pretty good one. That's not bad. 
Yeah, tall boy. I mean, that's the better option, right? Why interact with people when you could watch Scarecrow? Is the new map worth it? I mean, you'll just have to find out uh, on the 30th when we're able to show it off to you guys. I'm my tail round home here in Clearwater. Nice, Hunter. I'm on PC, uh, Panda. Exactly, Tallboy, exactly. Where'd that other one go? It should be close, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it was that much farther away. I might need to invest in the Bloodhound DLC at some point, too, because tracking these red deer is rough, man. If I don't get a perfect shot on some of them, then I never find them. And just like this, I, I can't figure out where this other one went. I know I saw it close to the other one. I think I must have passed it. Oh, it's literally right there. What am I doing? Yeah, for sure, Maddox. I'm excited to be able to uh, show things off to you guys. Just a couple more days to go, and you guys will be able to see it all. Um, as far as I know, we should be able to show it off, like, after the EW stream is done. So, basically, the EW stream will be at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it usually lasts two hours. As far as I know, it's going to be two hours, and then, uh... All of the content creators that have access to the map will be able to uh, stream or post videos starting at like 9, I believe. Which that would be like noon Eastern time. Uh, the new map comes out the 7th of December. Keep grinding, Panda. You'll get one eventually. It's uh, not easy. It definitely takes some time, but you'll get one eventually, and it's definitely worth it when you do. Yeah, I am uh, too, uh, Eagle. You know what's crazy? Me, Lady Legend, and KC have all got 24 hour streams planned for the new map. Max capacity. What? What do you mean max capacity reached? I'm not in there. Huh? Um. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, ground blind. I didn't want to use you anyway. I uh, totally didn't want to get in there. That's weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, that lag. I mean, it, it dropped. What I would do, Panda, is uh, go take a look at my Great One Red Deer guide that I made recently. I kind of break down my method of grinding in that, and that method that I show in there is my go-to way to grind them. So I would definitely recommend, uh, checking, recommend checking that out. That'll be your um, best source of information. You should be able to find it just by typing in a great one red deer guide scarecrow. It should bring it up. Hey Gage, how's it going? Still no great one whitetail. That sucks, man. Hopefully you'll get it soon. And uh, we've been doing pretty good. We got a big max weight diamond towards the beginning of the stream. And uh, we're getting close to being able to purchase the 300 magnum. So that's what we're going for now. How many kills are you into the grind? Let's see. We are 221. 221 kills in. Yep, they're broken. My my blinds are broken. What's going on? 
<laughs> Come on, Call of the Wild. That's just rude. Do I have a tent on me or anything? No, I don't. So I can just pick it up. Please work. There we go. Okay, so that's how we fix it. Good to know. There should be a few dead red deer over there as well. I just don't really want to chase them down because they were so far away. None of them were hit good, so they're going to run like a mile. That one hit, I think. I think that last one hit. Let's uh, go see. Nice, tall boy. That's awesome, dude. Is it a big one? Not sure, ye. Uh, yeah, Alex. The thing about uh, male bears on Medved is they're kind of like only in certain areas from what I've noticed. The last time that I was hunting Medved, which was I think like three weeks or four weeks ago, I did notice that um, male bears and female bears were kind of like just in certain parts of the map. They weren't really mixed too much, so you'll probably just have to search different parts of the map, go to different lakes and see if you can find some. I just kind of had to search all the lakes until I found where mine were. Because on everybody's map, it'll be kind of different. You'll have lakes that are female only, you'll have lakes that are male only. But as for like which lakes are which is kind of different from map to map. So you'll just kind of have to look around. Yes, I did, uh, Hunter Sniper. I did uh, tell him that. I did uh, make sure to let him know. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, try and get some rare gators. Very excited to try and get some. Yeah, no problem, Alex. I think uh, Lady Legend has a uh, full-on guide for Medved. That might help you out with finding your bears. I don't really know too much about the map. It's not been my number one choice for grinding, really, so... I'd go check that out and see if you can get some info from it. Also guys, we are 40 subscribers off of 26,000 subs. That's crazy. It seems like it was just like a week and a half ago that we hit 25k and we're almost at 26k now. Can't thank you guys enough for all of the amazing support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Ooh, we did get a third hit. Good. This thing should go down pretty quick then. Hey, Redette, how's it going? Hope you've been having a good day. Yeah, for sure, Maddox, for sure. They'd be really cool. A lot of the gator rares in real life look amazing. So I hope the ones in game look good too. Yeah, indeed, Blitz. Always angry. There's one. Nice. Yeah, no problem, uh, Hunter. Hey, G Dog, glad you liked it, man. The fallow are pretty sweet. I love hunting the fallow deer. I still really want to find some big rares. And oh my gosh, a rare diamond fallow would look so good. That could be another long term goal, getting a rare diamond fallow. Knowing my luck, I'll probably never find that, though. Or I'll find it on this, uh, secondary account. <laughs> like we did the, uh,. Melanistic. Ooh, that lightning was cool.
Holy thunder. Okay, so we're gonna reset the time and then go to the main menu since we have a few that we didn't claim. Uh, I wanna hurry up and get those respawned. So we're gonna real quickly go to the main menu just to respawn any of the ones that we missed. Because that's gonna hold up our spawns if they're just laying out there dead a thousand meters from where we shot them. Jeez, Joseph, that's wild, man. Verhonga's got a few spots like that. When do I stream? I typically stream at a 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That does kind of vary from day to day, though. There's some days where I stream early, some where I stream a little bit late. So it does kind of depend on the day as well. What's the best map for Red Deer? Uh, easily Tiawaroa. It's so good. Okay, so we don't have our stags back here yet. Let's um Let's go to one of these other zones. Probably this one would be the best. Do you stream every day? Every day except for Wednesday and Saturday. But because of uh all the recent updates and stuff to Call of the Wild, I've kind of been uh, streaming just most days. And my schedule's kind of been thrown off because of the uh, Great One Red Deer grind and then also the uh, new map coming up. But uh, typically, I take Wednesday and Saturday off and then stream every other day besides those. But it's been kind of kind of inconsistent recently. Nice, we got that one down. And three into that one. Anything good since the diamond? Uh, not really. We got a couple good mythicals. One of them was the troll rack uh, for level nines. They were at 66,000. I don't know why I went there to check that. I could have just checked it by opening my map. Yeah, at some point we will, uh, G-Dog. I think our plan right now is since we're both going to be doing 24 hours, um, we're going to try and like join each other towards the end of them when we're going to be getting tired. Because uh, it's definitely easier to stay awake when you're actually playing with someone else. So that's kind of our plan. We're going to join each other towards the end of our 24-hour streams. That way we uh, don't fall asleep. <laughs> and then depending on uh, when Lady Legend is doing her 24-hour stream, maybe I'll see if she wants to join in as well. Since you mentioned that she's doing one as well. It would be kind of cool if we could get her to join a couple, couple hours at least. Ooh, wow. That poor thing. Smoked him. Alright, Eagle. No worries, my dude. Enjoy. What's the best shotgun for turkeys? For me, uh, personally, I'd say the 12 gauge pump action is my favorite for turkeys. There's just something about it. It's amazing. It's uh, probably always going to be my favorite shotgun, unless they add like a 12 gauge semi-automatic. But uh, as of now, 12 gauge pump is my favorite for turkeys and pretty much every other bird. Yes, 3 Eastern Time. Or no. No, not, uh, not 3 Eastern Time. It's uh, 3 Pacific Standard Time. It would be 6 p.m. Eastern Time is my uh, typical streaming time. But then, uh, for the 24-hour stream, we're starting at 12 Pacific Standard Time. Or, uh, 12-12. Just because memes. I- I didn't scroll. What's going on there? Where is this red deer, though? There he is. Get him down. Oh, there's two. Okay, that's nice.
Beautiful. That's perfect. So we're doing not too bad on getting lots of stags down. What's my favorite NFL team? So I haven't watched the NFL since 2014. But back when I did used to watch it, the Patriots were always my favorite. Always been a big fan of the Patriots. Really like the 16 gauge pump action. It's just smooth. It is pretty sweet. I do like that one a lot as well. But the 12 gauge pump I like a little bit better. Then it's probably the 16 gauge pump next and then the 10 gauge after that. I can't remember. Did we drop this one? I think we shot it three times as it ran up the hill if I remember right. Yeah, we got two hits here and then the last was up here, right? Yeah, there it is. There's our red deer. Hey, Chad, how's it going, man? Glad you could make it to a stream. Ooh, there's another. I can't shoot this, though, because we'll delete the zone. That'll be just a little bit too much hunting pressure. I mean, not that it'll really matter at this lake if we delete zones, but eh, just to be on the safe side for now, we'll uh, not try to delete it. There's number two. There should be one more. Yeah, it should just be one more. Uh, we're at 71k though. We're getting really close to being able to purchase the 300. And then I think our next purchase will be the Argus scope. So we'll get the 300 and then go for the Argus after. And then we'll try to get some more tents and uh, tripod stands and stuff like that. Should be right there. Uh, yes, Chad, I do hunt in real life. Not recently, but I hunted growing up. Does resetting the time effect spawn slash racks? So it's not going to change the racks of animals at all. Uh, there used to be a bug where that would happen, but it does not happen anymore. And as far as spawns, um, it won't really change your spawns at all because you actually get your respawns from killing animals immediately after killing them. So resetting the time doesn't actually affect any of your spawns or anything like that. However, what it does affect is it, uh, it will cause animals to go back to their zones and it'll also cause them to get out of a spooked state. So there is, a, uh, I guess some benefits to changing the time when it comes to how the animals act, but it doesn't actually affect the spawns. I think that was the only one over here. Yeah, it definitely was. Nice, G-Dog. Thank you, Mason. I appreciate that. I do wish they would do that, Eagle, but I, I think they don't want to take that route with this game. I think they don't want it to have clothing affect your uh, visibility and stuff. They wanted to keep it kind of more of a like a personal preference cosmetic thing. I would be totally down with uh, it actually affecting camo though. But I think with the way Call of the Wild is designed, it probably wouldn't really even make that much of a difference. I mean, most people just sprint around like I am right now until they get to 150 meters and then they know that that's the distance animals will start spooking from, so they just shoot them from there. I don't really think uh, changing camo would do much. That was a decent level 7 stag we just took out. A Duck Dynasty skin? <laughs> that would be fantastic. That would be quite fantastic. What day am I doing the 24 hour? It'll be the 30th of November. So two days from now. 
Oh, I forgot we put a tent over here. That's right. I completely forgot that I put a tent over here. I don't have a stand here yet, though. That's a good mythical. Let's hope we hit that good. Yeah, we did. Nice. Got a good shot on a big mythical, and this will push us over the 75,000 needed. We will finally be able to purchase the 300 Magnum, and just in time, too. We're down to six shots from our uh, 303. 220. That's a big mail right there. Very big mail. And yeah, that puts us over the 75,000 needed. Hey, Snazzy, how's it going? Let's go buy our 300 Magnum. Uh, no, I'm not from Canada. I am from uh, Oregon. There it is. The 300 Magnum. All right, guys, which one should we get? The Frontier or the Marches? Which one should we purchase? The Frontier or the Marches? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Frontier, 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 Marches, Frontier, Frontier, Frontier. Okay, so it looks like everybody's saying Frontier. Let's uh, buy it. Ah, oh, it feels so good. We got the 300 Magnum. Can we afford some rounds for it? Yes, we can. We can buy 10. There we go. Finally adding another rifle to our loadout. Beautiful. That is pretty awesome. We can finally uh, take them out the way they were meant to be took out. Smoke them. Oh, that's right. We shot a red deer there. We need to go get that. Uh, let's go grab that real quickly. Then we'll move to another spot. Love to see it. I know, right? Man, me too. Feels good to get up to the 300 Magnum. Now the question is, do we buy Weapon Pack 1 on this account so that we can do the 22 trick? Or should we just see how well we can do without the 22 trick? It's nice to do, but I mean, it's not the most realistic thing in the world, so I'm okay with not using it on a playthrough. Oh, give me a couple seconds, everybody. Leah just woke up from a nap.
All right, I'm back. How's it going, guys? We're back. Thank you, Mason. I appreciate that. Yeah, guys, I'm excited for the new map, too. I'm excited to get to show it to you guys, finally. Just a couple days left. Then we can visit the beautiful Mississippi Acres Preserve. Nice, Jens. That's awesome. That's super awesome. That's really lucky. Definitely pretty lucky. Oh my gosh, that's bright. Oh, holy. All the red deer come out now. We get the 300 Magnum and they're like, hey, we want a piece of that. Okay, these ones stayed back. Okay, that one ran really far ahead. Not a good shot, but it's whatever. Oh my gosh, the recoil on this thing without the recoil skills is crazy. <laughs> I had forgot what it was like without the skills. Well, there we go. So that'll do it. <laughs> oh, I missed having this thing. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hello there. Hello there. You're looking lovely today. You look even more lovely on the ground. Perfect. Now we'll have to purchase some more ammo. Oh yeah, Blitz. They definitely are. What's the chance of a gold Iberian wolf on Quattro? Uh, decently high. I think a lot of the males are going to be gold. Go ahead and blow the red deer in half, why don't you? I know, right? I mean, sometimes you just gotta let them have it, you know? They look at you funny, or they kind of just, like, happen to walk in front of you. Gotta rip them apart with the 300. It's just how it is. They deserve nothing less. Twenty-five to fifty. Dying slower than I hoped for, but that'll just uh, knock down the XP even more. There's another down there. What? <laughs> There's another one down there already. Yeah, Jens, I remember you. Nice, ye. That's gonna be a good mount. Hey, Jan, we got a diamond earlier. Got a max weight diamond red deer. How is this thing not dead yet? 300 Magnum. What are you doing? This thing's running far for being hit with a 300. Typically, a bad shot with a 300 still takes it down pretty quickly, but this one's running a long ways. I mean, I guess it's possible this is an older one from earlier. Maybe this is one of the ones we shot with the, with the uh, 303. No, there it is. I think this is one we shot with the 300. I guess we'll see. Yeah, Mason, it's a lot of fun. I love the game. Yeah, we just hit it poorly. 111 XP though. That's a beautiful sight.
Actually, let's buy some ammo real quick while we can. Uh, we gotta save enough to change the time, but... Can at least buy two boxes. Yes, it is in two days. And I got a, a bunch of videos lined up for that day. So that day we're probably going to get like three videos on the channel, guys. Three videos plus the 24-hour live stream. It's going to be a juicy, juicy day for Call of the Wild. And then I'll probably do like uh, two videos the day after that. And then probably one or two the next day. I'm going to try and pump out as much content as I can for you guys. Really show off as much as I can for everything. I want to show off every aspect of the update as much as I can. Yeah, g Dog, it's going to be crazy. Uh, the stream will be starting 12-12 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 30th, and it'll end 12-12 the next day. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge, actually, because we're probably going to go ahead and end the stream soon. What's the difference between the uh, two colors? Wait, for what? Um, are you talking about for the uh, the 300 Magnum? That's the only thing I can think of where we were looking at two different colors. And there's not really any difference. It's just like uh, visual differences. Hey, Lunar. How's it going? Hey, lengthier hat. Glad you could make it. Unfortunately, we're, we are at the end of the stream, but I'm glad you're at least able to make it to a part of it. Why did it cost me so much to change the time? Because uh, I've been changing the time a lot. There we go. Wait a second. Where did I put the... Uh the melanistic red ear and stuff. Is it in here? I think it is. That's the melahind. Where'd the others go? Okay, there it is. Oh, we haven't taxed the piebald yet. I just realized. We have not taxed the piebald yet. All right, well, I guess for now we'll just set this beautiful diamond that we just got right here. Um, they can't fit on these, I don't think. No, they can't. Uh, we'll do our Mela over here. And then we'll just toss the hind, like, right here, I guess. And then we have not taxidermized the piebald yet, unfortunately, so we can't display that, but... This plus that piebald 7 is what we've got on our grind so far. And that is out of 234 harvests. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the stream there, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's been uh, quite a bit of fun doing this challenge. I got to say, I'm enjoying it a lot more than uh, other series that we've done with new accounts. I think this is much more fun than doing like a beginner series or stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's, that's just me. There's probably people that enjoy the beginner series stuff more, but I'm really liking this. But uh, thank you guys for watching. We will be back tomorrow with another live stream and uh, maybe another video if I have enough time to make one. But yeah, until then, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one.